Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Liam, and today I'm doing a FM21 career save. Um, it's Sunderland. I did put a video on Twitter, just a brief intro video of what to expect, and it's a FM community challenge set out by um, Ian McIntosh from the Athletic on his podcast. It seemed like a really good idea. A lot of people are, you know, getting getting on this save, and it's really difficult because you're expected to win straight away. Um, win promotion so I think a lot of people lose their jobs and it's very difficult and um, there's a few guidelines on his Twitter page so go check that out if you want to get involved as well um, but yeah for me I'm doing another step as well like another twist the way that I want to play is very aggressive I want to create like, the dirtiest most aggressive side in the league and then hopefully in England if I'm still at the job as you can see I got aggression bravery and work rate as the three stats that I think are going to be key um, goalies don't need to be like that um, but if they are, that's brilliant. But I think for now, I think the lowest uh, you can have to get in the team is going to be 10 on one of them uh, for League One. And then obviously, the more we progress, that will go higher. And we're going to have, you know, quite an aggressive tactic, I would say. But they're the three um, stats that I'm going to be looking for. And if you don't have it, you're either going to be sold, loaned out, or we develop you with uh, the staff members. I'm going for the staff with high determination, level, uh, level of discipline. Uh, mental stats obviously to improve and we're just going to train that area of the game to get like, bravery and aggression it could be hard to get up but I think there is a few ways to do it um, so yeah we'll see and obviously work great as well um, I think the next thing is to show you that the squad the tactics it's going to be 4-4-2 four, four, we're going to start off with um, but I, I was thinking for this to happen we want to get most fouls we want to be successful as well we want the most yellows I think we're going to start a bit lower because the defence probably won't handle a high press, but we're going to we're going to press anyway. I'm going to get stuck in, and we're going to just have tight marking. Every player is going to be on tackle harder, um, so we'll just see how that pans out. And we're going to be playing quite a high tempo, direct uh, football. We're going to allow set paces. I think we're going to try and play good football. Uh, this time to be like ugly, um, but for now it probably will be. But yeah, that's. It's a bit of an experiment as well, to be honest. I We might not even get to Christmas because um, we have to be very successful straight away. So, yeah, there's going to be a few sign-ins, a few players leaving because they're just not going to not gonna start. Aidan McGee, you can see. I'm getting a lot of staff members in with like that mental, strong side to them because um, we're going to have to have like this whole thing to the, to the, the club, to you know, this aggressive type of... Leadership, obviously, Aidan McGee needs to go out, but Grant, Grant Ledbetter and Power will be pretty solid um, to be team leaders. And we just need to just have this whole call that you just, you're a nasty footballer if you're coming to Sunderland. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the save idea. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if you want to do your own version as well, uh, definitely do it and, and, and I can, you know, keep up to date with that. I think that's it for now. I'm going to play out the pre-season and the friendlies and just get the staff members, the players in and maybe you'll see me jump to the first game of the season this video or I might just leave this as a brief introduction but yeah that's everything I think I've got to mention um, about the club obviously Sunderland need to get up the um, favourites to go up but maybe I've thrown in a bit of another spanner because of the tactics that we're going to play and keep and just go for it, we're going to be hopefully the dirtiest team in the league and England. So pre-season is now finished and just before we dive into the first game of the season in the league I'll take you through the staff just quickly. Um, I pretty much hired a whole new team start to th start to start to finish in the staff area and um, going for like high determination, uh, a good mental stat, blah -de blah -de blah all that good stuff as you can see it kind of shows a couple of more s scouts and we'll be top of that as well and even down into the under 23s and under 18s a few more sign-ins each um, but yeah trying to have that theme of high aggression and just try and get it through to the to the players and um, a lot of players are now getting the trick diving the tackles and um, we're going we're going full uh, full hardcore mode um, pre-season just a couple of decent wins blah blah, blah. lost to Man United obviously Chamia was a bit of a Bad one. and we've had two cup games which I'll dive into a little bit um, in a little bit anyway and transfers hi those yes Ryan Turner Cliff um, on the outs I think it's obviously the loans basically is not me I really want George Dobson and Will 
great back, especially with how we're playing. They can really fit in the mould. I can't recall them back, which is annoying. Aidan McGeady goes for 100 grand to Bristol City. And um, Jack Diamond with 150 grand and 50% of his next transfer fee. So, you know, if they sell for like two, three million, we'll get some of that money. Um, the players I've signed is Ben Thompson on loan, Mitch Clark on loan. I'll show you the stats, why not? Um, as you can see, really fits the mould. Really good player, to be fair. Going to be battling um, the two centre mids. I think we have Max Power and, like, I forgot the other ball winning midfielder. Um, Mitch Clark can play both fullbacks, which would be really handy. And he can play wing backs, which is our second formation. It's five at the back. And this, we're playing 1.3 million for the course of a season. But Andre Gray, I felt like we needed. And he fits the mould. Uh, I was a bit surprised, but um, I suppose he is. He is a quality player. Obviously way too good for League One, you would think. Um, obviously he's played down in divisions before. But yeah, I think this is incredible. We needed that one outlet that might just get us a goal, even even though we're playing horrifically. And he hasn't disappointed so far. In the, in the two games, he's he scored a goal in each. Um, and yeah, about those games. So the first game, obviously 2-0 against um, Harrogate, which I think is in League Two. They're in League Two, so the division below. Um, the the foul count was we had 13 fouls and Harrogate had 18 so they edged us on that one and they had three yellow cards and we had one so you know we're getting used to the dirtiness of, uh, of the way we want to play Fleetwood they're in the same division as us we beat them 2-1 it was quite comfortable um, they did score first but we responded really well and the foul count for this one was that we had 18 and they had 14 uh, so yeah we edged it this time so we're you know we're working our ways up fouls obviously when I say fouls against fouls made so like you know we snapped their players 18 times basically and we had two yellow cards for it and they had one so yeah I think what we want to have is we want to have the most fouls and yellows in the league but most of the time we want to beat the, the opposition um, we had the possession a lot in these two games um, even though we're playing with like a bit more of a direct and not hold on to the ball but obviously sometimes you're just going to have more of the ball they're going to be more defensive than, than us so yeah, I think that's pretty much everything to catch you up on. Um, so this is pretty much the lineup for this for this formation, and I've got you know different styles just in case um, we need to mix things up and, and different presets for each one and what players to use. And obviously the two players that might be coming in is Ryan Tunnicliffe. He we had a bit of a falling out with his wages. I'm only going to give him two grand, but he's just going to be a body. And Teddy Jenks, I think. He's not good enough technically at all, but he's 18 and he could be a good player to have and very, very physical uh, for a centre midfielder as well. So, yeah, today we're going to be playing Bristol Rovers at home. Um, so, yeah, quite excited to see what will happen. Andre Gray, we have to look after a lot because I don't want him to play too many games. He's not injury prone on this game, which is quite good. Um, I feel like he is in real life. So I think we'll dive straight into the game. Um, yeah, and... Uh, Hopefully we can cause a few fouls, get a few yellows and, and win the game. Um, I feel like, obviously, this is a very important game. We're at home. You know, we want to get off to a winning start. As you can see on the top right, when we uh, have the highlights, have the tackling to see who makes the most. Who's, You know, you want someone who makes a lot of good tackles, but also, you know, they leave their mark on the player. So the first highlight in the game, and I'm going a bit further out for the camera, just for, just for now, just so I can see how the team's set up as Andre Gray just maybe just give the ball to him and let him do everything just to see how the team plays because um, I obviously need to get it right and we're against an interesting formation today oh as we have an injury for Chris Maguire which isn't ideal purely because we don't really have any right wingers um, and that was the one thing I was worried about I think maybe Mitchell Curry is just going to have to do a job on that right midfield he can't play there he can but they, the game says he can't but he'll do, be able to do a job I'm sure I haven't got long throws because we haven't got a long throw specialist, I don't think. Um, but obviously, we're going to rely on corners, even though our centre backs are quite short, I would say. And our strikers are going to be attacking the near post, which, you know, says a lot about about them. And what a goal by Josh Gowen, who's like the ball winner, but he looked he, pretty decent. Um, really good goal there. I think Max Power, Scowen, and. I think, is it Willis? I, they, I've all given them contracts because they got one year left. And if you are playing the save, I recommend tying them down fairly soon because they wanted, I think, quite often. 
I am um, a bit interested to see how, how this save goes. If I get fired, I'll just implement this tactic to another team and I'll just carry on until I'm successful. So it could be could be a long save, I suppose. And we'll see Curry on this right hand side. He can't play there apparently, but he can pass the ball, so that's fine. Let's go in to White, who I'm interested to see how the target man of support deals with uh, that role, because it's quite hard, but it's the only role he can probably play. Let's go in just absolutely hoofs one in the back of the net. There was no technique in that. That was just door hinge near it into the roof of the net. And what a goal. Um, White, yeah. <laughs> Go back to White. His build-up's been really good. He set up big grey twice with like flick downs and headers. He's got a wicked header as well. But this, Curry whips it in. It's a good block. And oh my god, he just, his last hand stomps it off his boots, off his studs into the goal. So, so far, we're going all right. Oh, good clearance off the line. Um, I won't get carried away. I've seen like a few people have like a massive win and then lose the next couple of games. Scone's just got a hat trick from outside the box. That's mental. He is playing every game. I want to see his long shots, but not all outside the box. I just realised, but all absolute pile drivers. I'm sure you'll agree. Um, that's mental. Absolutely mental. Let's see this. I think that's his weaker foot as well. You go stuff this. That is incredible. And I want to see, I want to see his long shots. So I put it on the back of my mind. Three nil. It's not a bad start. Ooh, there's the diving in. There's the diving in. I'm sure I'll regret that. But that's the way we're playing. You know, the players will have to get used to it. Every everyone dives in, even the goalie. No, I don't think I don't think you can do it for the goalie. Um, oh, I could try. I'll see. Obviously, we're gonna. Oh, <laughs> We will get red cards, obviously, but it's not going to be stupid. It's not going to be like red card every like other game or every three games. It's just going to be, you know, you just play on the edge, really. As Gray has no support and see what he can do in this league. He goes for it. You know, he's warming himself up. It's fine. I think he's still gathering fitness. While we're here, long shots at nine. A solid nine. Scoring a hat trick, man. It's, uh, it's nice. He won't score probably for the rest of the season. Let's see if that is the case. Um... I think like interceptions is key as he just gets another one there as well. Um, how we play, because obviously if we don't intercept it, we're just gonna snap them. But um, the team's playing really well, all greens. I mean, at three nil in the first 45 minutes, I'm sure that is gonna always be the case. But as a collective, the players look really good. I think our fouls could be doing a bit better though. We're, we've got eight fouls, we're still winning. Um, but yeah, we need to just snap them a bit more. But it's gonna be hard now, I think, because of the complacency that we need to be quite careful of I would say but yeah possession's a bit even um, we're passing the ball better than them I mean we do have the better players we have to remember that although we're playing direct it's like we still have much better players so we'll see how that goes I think White's getting quite tired Charlie White um, so I think what we'll do is and I don't really have a backup striker now um, and oh, this is see this this is where it gets a little bit squeaky bum, um, but you know our backup left back's injured at the moment. But Dion can he can do a job there. Why why not? Um, Fadden for I don't know what I was trying to do. Oh, he can he can play he can play on the wing. Um, I think he's a yeah he's left footed. Dion will he be on them? Um, yeah, Dion will be on it. Tackle harder, yeah. Everyone, it's a it's a position thing, um, and yeah, White was the whole reason. I think what we'll do is we'll get Thompson on, just get him on as an attack, attacking player. You can just like, you know, just team up with uh, Andre Gray for the last twenty minutes of the game. I think the centre back partnership of Willis and Wright is good. I think O'Fla Egg Flanagan is it on the bench. Um, Flanagan, yeah, he I could have subbed him on, but I feel like he might put up a bit of a battle as well for that first place. I think I just missed the the um oh no, here we go, yeah. Okay, so um first game of the season. Oh, okay. We'll we'll go back. But um I just wanted to see the fouls. Um we got fifteen fouls, so it was equal in the end. We've got two yellow cards, so I, I would say we slightly Slightly edged it then, but um, yeah, I'm gonna keep on top of the foul count and, and the games, and obviously we can see in the competition who creates the most fouls anyway. 
what an absolute game Josh Gowen had. Um, obviously, it's quite easy to do. Um, you know, team stats, does it team details? Um, and you can just see it through here. Uh, was defending. I'm not being too mad. Fouls made to so Swind at the moment at the top. So yeah, we're getting there. But yeah, there's a long way to go. So I think we'll leave it there for now. Um, we do have Burnley in the second round of the cap. We're going to get smashed. I might just get a few games, smash a few games under my belt. Obviously, Ryan Turnercliffe will be tearing it up. Um, and yeah, we'll just see how it is. I think I'm going to try and get to December fairly quick. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.